So once we get the data, the list of cases, what we have to do is, is to display it. So this is again standard HTML which you can see here and after that we have something called aura render if. Now you would be wondering that uh, why I would put uh, a different tag here. We have the aura iteration as similar to other scenario when I was displaying list of accounts but we have aura render if. I will show you that. It, it would be better if I show you instead of explaining. If I refresh it, this is what it looks like in the beginning when the page loads. So we don't have selected, we have not selected any account. So why should we display any cases for an account which doesn't exist which we have not selected? So to do that, this is the default view. For the default view, this thing is there. As I am checking the length of the cases here, which would be zero, because uh, in the beginning, the event wouldn't have fired. So Aura handler wouldn't have have anything. So it wouldn't have have any cases. Hope it makes sense. In the beginning, we don't have any data. So we are checking the length of the cases, and we are not displaying it. If and only if the list of the records in account which has at least one case we will process that right I will minimize this so this is the entire view right okay so we got the data from the JavaScript over here and we assign it one alias I thought it to make it case only we have the default index property and after that this is standard HTML this all materialized CSS framework uh, classes which does the UI thing you know I didn't do much of the code to display this kind of UI this comes out of the box because we are using materialized CSS so this is the case number because uh, what kind of data I'm returning is case number, contact name, subject, priority, and several other data. So I picked one and I'm displaying case number. Then contact dot name, subject, case dot subject, case dot priority. You would be seeing a difference over here. We have case dot subject, but we have case dot contact, contact name, right? This is uh, why this is happening because case has so many fields. Something like a table which has so many fields. But these fields are again a reference to another table. I mean, in cases we have a field called case number and another field which is a reference to another table called contact. And inside that we have a field name. So to fetch that, we have place two dots over here. The same goes for owner name, right? So that's it folks. Uh, this is how this lighting application is developed. I explained the code as much as I could. I will be uploading the source code in GitHub. You could have access to it. And it's very straightforward. Log into your developer org and copy paste this entire code. Just don't forget to include these static resources. You could uh, grab them from uh, the Amazon S3 link I would be sharing. Just upload that, copy paste this entire code, run it, let me know if any issues. And once you run it, you play around with this. I have opened up all the components here, all the JavaScript and uh, there are a few other stuff also, some CSS which I didn't cover. Uh, like uh, this one we have a rounded corner over here if you can see so uh, this is happening due to some CSS this is minor CSS uh, you can play around with this after I upload the source code you can see how everything is laid out there are uh, some advanced stuff also inside in the CSS uh, I hope it wouldn't uh, 